Hey everybody, uh, Rock from Modifier Graphics. Hey, uh, I wanted to um, kind of just make a quick video. I haven't uh, made one in a while. I've got my trusty phone with the time on it, so I know exactly where I'm at 10 minutes. I already did one of these and it was way too long. We're going to touch on a kind of a hairy subject for custom painters, okay? Everybody wants to know why it costs so much to throw a paint job down. Well, we're going to try to explain it to you in, in terms that the uh, normal person who doesn't deal in this would understand. I seen this on a forum and I thought, man, it's I have to jump on this because I hear it every single day. When I'm in this business, when I when I'm at here at my shop here at On Fire Graphics, uh, I have customers come in and I hear the same thing over and over. How come it's so expensive? But I can go just to the local uh, chain store and and pay 300 bucks and I can get the same deal. Well, you can't. You can't get the same deal. Okay. Yes, your car will be painted. Yes, it was done with a spray gun. Yes, it was done with a spray booth. But there is a whole lot of difference between the 299 guys and the custom guys who are out to try to make a living doing custom work on your car. Okay? It's funny because we've all seen it. Uh, a guy will spend $2,000 on wheels, but I'll be damned if he's going to spend $2,000 on a paint job. Uh, you know, to me it doesn't make any sense. You can put all the chrome you want on that bike, but without uh, a decent paint job on it, it ain't going to be seen. Nobody's going to look at it. And you want to be proud of your ride. So that's where I come in. That's where my fellow airbrushers and fellow uh, custom painters that I have learned from, been taught by, some of the biggest airbrushers in the world are right here on YouTube, um, and take a look at their work. Um, it's amazing how many custom paint shops go through this so again we're going to educate you um, the difference between a paint job from those guys and me is this it is very simple imagine your car for just a moment let's say it's red okay you take it in and say I need my car painted they say fantastic you'll have your car back in about four to five days okay and it'll be freshly painted but here's what happens You'll go in, and if there's any chips in the paint, anything missing, it doesn't matter. They're going to sand it out the best way they can. And usually it's with the DA sander, which is dual action. It's a dual action sander. It spins and it rotates and it does everything, and it sands pretty dang fast. You put plenty of air to it, you can sand a car. Okay? But you're not going to take it down to the bare metal in those 299 shops. What they're going to do is they're going to dull the surface. In other words, they're going to take all the shine off of it any little infractions in the paint, so on and so forth, they're going to try to smooth out the best they can. This is what it is said. I've, I've been there. I know. Okay? There's, there's reasons I know this. Okay? Um, so, they're going to send it the best they can for the price that you're paying, which is $2.99. They're going to have a guy blow it off with an air hose, wash it down a little bit of water, and then they're going to tape it all off. Okay? Now, who's to say that Sandra didn't hit some chrome? didn't hit some of this or some of that, some of that shouldn't have not touched. And they're going to tape off all the, the chrome and do the best they can because, you know, we're not a custom paint shop here. We, uh, we only tape off what we can. And if you think you have a good job on your car and you have one of these 299 paint jobs, go out and take a look at it real quick. Chances are you'll be really dissatisfied once you really, really look at it. I don't want to see any more YouTube videos like I seen this morning where these 299 jobs guy was so proud of it like he he, he got a fat hog in the butt. It doesn't work that way, okay? We're in this industry for a reason. It's because we understand paint, we understand what it takes to get it down, we understand the cost, and we understand that it's a, it's a business. When you want a, 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 a paint job to look like you spent 10 grand on it, you're going to have to pay some money on it, okay? There's no getting around it, folks. That's, that's all there is to it. Let me check my time, see how we're doing. We're doing pretty good. This behind me is the On Fire Graphics paint job. This is a piece of metal that I got from my local sheet metal store. And I just sanded it and went to work on it. I sanded it all the way down the bare metal, all the way out. I primed it. Now, I didn't use $300 primer for a demonstration. I just used a rattle can. Well, that's probably better than what you're going to get at the 299 shop, but it's still a rattle can, okay? So I rail it all the way from here out. Then I block sanded it, made it all nice and smooth, and got it to where it, it, 
it forms a tooth, uh, uh, like a, a, an adhesion tooth that locks on the paint. Then put the base coat down. Base coat is actually a pigmented paint. That's what it is. It's, it's the color. It can be any color you want. Here at Unfire Graphics, noted for fire. That's all I wanted to paint when I first got started. Now I'm doing everything. It's a lot of fun. And I put fire on the panel all the way across. Then I come back in, and this kind of is neat because it actually has a ridge where people can feel the difference between the, the uh, graphics and how much clear coat I put on that rig. You know, there's three or four coats on there. It's pretty thick. Then I come back in, you see the dull spot? This is being sanded with 1,500 grit sandpaper, then with 2,000, then with 2,500. What that happens is, is it makes it real nice and smooth and the scratches are very small, so you can put a buffer on it, a polisher, and polish it out to where it shines like that. Now I guarantee you that 12 inch panel there is better than a whole car you get at those $2.99 shops. When you come into my shop and you bring me in a bike like you saw in the first video, or right at the first of this video, that was $1,500. There is also another thing. What happens is, is that the guy down the street is going to charge you $4,500 for the same bike I'm doing $1,500. But you think, as a consumer, that since I'm cheaper, I'm ripping you off somehow. I don't know exactly what I'm doing. Get informed, people. When you walk into a shop, and I'm not trying to be an ass here. I don't want you to think I'm being an ass. I'm just trying to help you out in your painting decisions. Okay? When you walk into a shop, look around and see how much overhead this guy's got. Does he have 50 employees working for him? Well, you've got to pay them guys somehow. Coming out of your pocket. I'm one guy. I do paint jobs, and I do everything from bare metal all the way to finish to make you happy. Look around at the overheads. Try to figure out exactly how much they're actually in it. And that's what you're going to pay. The custom paint job is totally different than your $2.99 paint job, and you can go ask anybody. Go in and ask your painter, what am I getting for my money? They'll tell you, and if they don't tell you, then they're hiding something. Flat out, I don't care who they are. They'll tell you what they're getting for your money. They'll tell you the steps they're going to use. They'll show you pictures, and they'll show you what's, what's happening with your paint job. Be informed, and I'm going to stay on top of this. I'm going to probably do a couple more videos within the next few days, so stay tuned, because there's certain aspects of the painting that I want you guys to understand that when you come into the paint shop, and you tell them, well, the guy down the street said he'd do it for 600 how come you won't? Well, because I like to make some money. I'm going to come back with some comparisons in money and show you exactly uh, what we make as a custom paint shop, and it'll astound you. It's not much, because when you buy custom paint for the customer who wants it, you, who wants this on their rig, it's very expensive. And we have to get our money back somehow. That's the, re that's the reason we're doing this. Custom paint is a luxury. Absolutely. You want the 299 job? Fantastic. Do what you got to do. Do what you, where your pocketbook can afford. But you'll see in the next couple of videos, and I'll explain to you why don't expect me not to paint your rig for 299 because I can't do it. There's no possible way. And I'm going to show you why. So stay tuned. I'll have a couple more videos for you. Again, I don't want to piss anybody off, but I just want you to be informed. Okay? This is Rob from Montfire Graphics. We'll see you on the next video.